All right, here it is. If you don't already know the Gary Pickleface SpongeBob review lore from two to three years ago, during my season one rankings, I put this as my number one favorite season one episode. But does this opinion still hold true? I guess we're going to have to find out. But first, what happens in this episode is that SpongeBob goes to sleep and ends up having a dream where he ends up getting kicked out of his dream and gets teleported into the outside world. This prompts Spongebob to go into his friend's dreams. First, he goes into Gary's dream, who tells Spongebob about how dreams are made and how you can do whatever you want inside of a dream. After, he goes into Patrick's dream, where Patrick is just riding on one of those things that you see in front of the stores. Patrick, of course, isn't very bright, so his dream doesn't go much of anywhere. Next, Spongebob goes into Squidward's dream, where he's performing for the King of England in front of a crowd, and Spongebob drives Squidward to break his clarinet, so he then replaces Squidward's clarinet, and people start to cheer for them again. Next, he goes into Sandy's dream, who is dreaming about free-falling into a tiny target on the ground. Sandy instead gets distracted by Spongebob and lands in t and falls into a pile of clam poop. Spongebob then goes into Pearl's dream where he doesn't spend any time in as he's looking for Mr. Krabs' dream. Mr. Krabs is, of course, dreaming about catching a giant piece of money, which Spongebob accidentally ends up releasing. This sends Spongebob into Plankton's dream where he is dreaming about destroying the Bikini Bottom, of course, and Spongebob puts a stop to him. He then goes back to his house where, where everyone ends up waiting for him as he was invading their dreams and the episode ends. Yes, this episode was a lot to unpack, and it seems like a giant adventure of an episode. And honestly, it is, but for some reason, this episode also maintains the calm feeling that most Season 1 episodes seem to have. What I mean by this is that the overall vibe of the episode feels a lot more laid back as it takes place during the night, and it's honestly a nice change of pace for Spongebob, as usually most episodes are during the day and usually rely on mostly humor. However, even though this episode does lack in humor, it certainly d makes up for in story. I think my summary of this episode should be enough to explain this, but to go in more depth, Spongebob exploring the dreams of all of his friends is pretty interesting, as you can see a side of them that often can't be portrayed in the real world, and it does it in a ma manner that isn't trying to be over the top, but rather fluid and smooth. This episode has always intrigued me by how unique it is as it's something that most people seem to overlook, but for me, it stands out among Spongebob episodes in general. The pacing of this episode is also perfectly balanced, giving enough respective time to each character. My personal favorite dream has to be Gary's as it's interesting seeing the perception of dreams and how it goes about many ways, being the mind having unlimited potential in a dream, and then this showing it in everyone else's dream is pretty creative. Overall, while this episode does lack in the humor department, it doesn't really matter when the other factors of this episode are just this good and this episode is extremely creative even for today. And I personally think that the different mini adventures happening inside of SpongeBob's one big long adventure is a nice feeling, which is why I'm going to give this episode a good 10 out of 10 dethroning pizza delivery by a slim margin as the current number one of what I have reviewed so far. I think both of these episodes are amazing and I had a really hard time choosing which one I liked more, but in the end I had to give it to Sleepy Time.